Okay, so just a real quick update. I am getting super close to having my very own VESC. The uh, donor board was a Pint X that I purchased specifically for VESCing. Um, we ripped out all the, uh, the brains, replaced the brains, replaced the lighting. The uh, backlight here is stock, but is RGB compliant, apparently, because uh, I'll show you that here in a second. The uh, battery, I still need to fix the, uh, the connection there, because it's just kind of tack welded in right now, because I was doing it by myself. Um, the board itself is not actually tied down yet because I was just trying to do a bench to make sure everything powers on and looks good. But that's what I got for wiring so far. And as far as I can tell, I mean, I haven't tested the foot sensor or the hull sensors or anything yet, but the board powers on at least, so that's a win in my book so right now i've only got it hooked up to a small battery because uh their battery is wired wrong and i can't put their battery in here to test it but 15 volts is more than enough to power it on apparently um it takes three seconds roughly to turn the board on after you push the switch and then the uh Green light comes on, and uh, I'm guessing this has something to do with Ava's uh, lights is why it's uh, doing the uh, RGB there, which is pretty cool. Bluetooth light module lights up, so it's working. Uh, the CSP module doesn't have a light, I don't believe, but, I mean, it's hooked through the light bar, so I'm guessing it's working. There's no batteries hooked up to it anyway to, to, to tell me what the... Uh, the battery percentage is, I don't think, because those wires go back to there. Yeah, through the BMS, so it wouldn't even know about this battery, I don't think. Anywho, let's go ahead and finish this up so I can uh, get back onto the programming. The uh, I tried it from my Mac first, and it won't connect. And I don't know why it won't connect. because the uh, the ports right here, those are only Bluetooth ports. And even though I got it hooked up to a through USB there, and I know the USB cable works for a data transfer cable because I use it to transfer my videos from my phone to the computer, and it works fine. And I've tried other cables too, and nothing will get it to recognize. So I'm not sure. But on uh, SprintN's website, I found how to connect using your phone through Bluetooth. It works just fine. And then you scroll down here and you hit activate bridge, copy that IP address, go back over here to TCP IP, Get the IP address, put it in there, hit the connect button, and I disconnected me from my phone, which is fine. And now we're connected. And you can go to the, wait, I was connected. <laughs> Really? You're not working again, huh? That IP change? 66. So that's where I'm at. 
I've got the hardware part figured out. I mean, that was super simple. The couple of things, uh, the momentary switch, if you bought the light bar, it doesn't come with the, uh, the little uh, adapter that he was showing in the uh, Four Fools video. And the metal box, jeez Louise, I thought I had that in there better. <laughs> the metal box, uh, it comes with uh, some washers and different screws to hook it in. In your little uh, thermal pad box there. And what else? I got another video of me putting this together. So, but that was the main thing. Oh, and this module right here, the ESP module. I don't think he went over that, but that hooks into your light bar and then that. Which I'm assuming because I couldn't actually find nothing, but that's the only spot those wires hooked, so. <laughs> and just so you know, I don't think it will allow you to turn it off if you're connected. I just figured that out. That if you're actually connected to the VEST tool through an app, then the lights will still remain on even though you turn the power button off. I just thought I'd mention that. 